I am so excited to be starting my first vlog of the new year. Listen, it has been a crazy first week for our country. Don't even want to get into that. Don't even want to. So excited for Biden's inauguration. Aside from all of that, I'm actually really excited about this year. I feel like it's going to be a really transformative year. Obviously with the vaccine, we'll be able to see moments of normalcy and things opening back up. And I am so excited for that. My heart has been needing that selfishly. I'm really excited to visit my parents this year, fly back home. Phineas and I were talking about this on our podcast last night. It just went up this morning, so I will link it down below if you guys want to listen but we were talking about how 2020 felt like the year of planting a lot of seeds or at least the way that we were able to approach it this year and I recognize that comes from a place of privilege being able to work from home and being able to take steps and place different plans in action to make sure that we're moving forward I'm excited for some of those seeds planted to start sprouting and growing this year. I just feel like a lot of us are going into this year knowing that we can only control so much and to really count our blessings and be grateful for what we have and what we can do and what we can make of this moment. So I'm really excited to just kick it up a notch. Oh my gosh, you guys, we've been painting. We've been painting so much. <laughs> if you guys remember, I was tossing between two different colors for my office and I settled for the lighter one, Morning Ritual by Backdrop. This room has a lot of rounded edges and you know it's imperfect so instead of using duct tape I've just been slowly lining like all of the windows and doorways and stuff with the paint so I kind of just have like paint everywhere in random places but I think it looks so pretty and I can't wait to do the whole thing as you can see here I'm just like painting along the edges because I want to take care of that painting the actual walls will be like an entire thing got to cover all the furniture but in the meantime I'm just doing sort of like the most laborious part which is just drawing or painting like the super straight lines so here's my goal this year and I'm also I'm not setting the bar high for myself because I don't need to lie to myself I don't need to bullshit myself and pretend like I'm gonna read a book every single week It's just not gonna happen. So the goal that I'm giving myself is every single month I want to listen to one audiobook and read two books. This is the stack This morning I just finished becoming I'm getting a call. Hi, babe Hi, Freddie. Hello I just finished my December audiobook. I listened to Michelle Obama's book, Becoming. Very late on that, but wow, was it a good book. Definitely recommend that. And I also recommend listening to it over reading it because there's just something about like listening to an audiobook that the author themselves read. My January physical read, I'm reading Untamed by Glennon Doyle. So many people have recommended this book to me. I feel like I kept hearing about it in 2020. I love the way it's structured. Every single chapter is pretty short and every chapter is like a different story and then she wraps it up and like tells you why it's an important story to tell and it's I'm just loving it And also I love the way she writes. It's very witty. I'm excited that this is like my first read of 2021 This I'm barely even calling a read because it's so fast and easy But it's called the daily stoic which I've heard a ton about 366 meditations on wisdom preservance and the art of living the book just includes little passages every single day They're also dated too. So when you buy the book just jump to the page that the date is on and start there. My friend Becca let me borrow this book because she said it's really funny and great. It's called Hits and Misses Stories by Simon Rich. And we're only two stories in, so every chapter is like a completely fictional story and it's so funny. The second story in this book that we read last night, it was like, you know, four pages long, nothing crazy, but it is in the perspective of the horse that Paul Revere rode when he warned that the British were coming. Is she helping open? Oh. This is very cute. You're being such great. a little helper, Peaches. My goodness. Of the bed, maybe? Can we put the feet side up? Okay, how do we solve this Rubik's cube? Fuck. I don't know what to do. Ah! 
There we go. That is cute. Oh what is happening? <laughs> I, I can't believe I've never thought to do this ever before. We've been in quarantine for a long time, so I haven't gotten my nails done since then. And even before that, the whole experience just feels very long to me. For the past year, I have just been wearing regular nail polish. It chips the same day and I'm tired of that. I'm just so rough with my nails and nail polish is just like really losing this battle. So here we are. Gel. I'm sure I'm gonna do something wrong, but that's fine. I have already filed my nails and pushed down my cuticles and clipped them off. I decided to file my nails kind of in like an almond shape. My nails always naturally end up rounding on the sides because of like life. If I just shape them as almond for a little while, maybe they'll grow longer and stronger. I'm gonna buff my nails just a little bit to like get the shine off. Amazing. I also bought fingerless gloves to protect myself from the UV rays. Amelie no wipe top and base coat. I also got a black gel polish from the same brand. These are gel polish, soak off gel polish in white and black. And then I also got a little colored gel kit. And these are like nude, there's a green one, there's a pink one. I'm just going to wipe my nails with acetone to get any of like the dust off and any moisture. I should be using a fuzz free cotton wipe, but I don't have those. Is this about to change my life? I'm also gonna paint like the tip of my nails. The lamp that I got is from Sun UV. I liked the way that it's shaped. I feel like it's gonna work great with the thumb. Like some of them are just angled weird, so it, it's not like even on the thumb, if that makes sense. What color do we do? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. We have to decide, we have to decide. Um, should I just do black? Like maybe we just start with black. Shake it. Each layer of the color, can you guys tell I did my research? You should have your hands in for 60 seconds. We'll see how many layers I have to do. My hope is two, maybe three. Oh, I should get like a little brush and like some alcohol to clean it up. Yes. Oh my God, it's so opaque. I'm trying to get as close as I can to the cuticle. Let's make it last. 60 seconds. I'm gonna file around and fix them, but there they are, top coat and everything. After the top coat, don't you put acetone on your nails? Okay, you're allowed to do that, right? What this also taught me is that I am so scared to do this with my non-dominant hand. Oh. <laughs> I was coming in to show you guys the final result of the bed that we just built. Of course, Peach has already claimed it as her own. Anyone who will be staying over here at our house is going to be sleeping in a bed that smells like a dog. I'm so sorry. You are so cute. You are really napping hard. We are turning this guest bedroom into an actual bedroom. Oh, there she is. And she's awake. She's with us. So this is just a platform bed. We made it platform so that we can move it every which way in this little room. And I don't even wanna show you guys that side, but we've got plans for it. We're gonna make it super simple, cute, paint the walls, that whole vibe. Before I let you guys go, please comment down below what sorts of videos you want to see from me this year. I'm brainstorming content right now and figuring out what sorts of videos you guys would like to see, what I like making most, so what I eat in a day is, or more vlogs, or more sit down videos, let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you for a new one very soon. Mm -hmm.